Hello everybody, welcome to a new format. Uh, you can leave a comment and let me know if you like this style or not. What we're going to do is, we're going to go turn by turn replay. Not, not, you know, not playing out action by action, but turn by turn, skip ahead, pretty quick, see how long it lasts, see how in depth we get. Um, so yeah, let's just go in this match. I won the toss, chose to receive. I put two ghouls down in case it went either side. Five in the LOS, diagonal blocking. His setup was a bit weird, very open in the center. Actually could have mummy blitzed a wolf, which mightn't have been a bad idea to start off with. But um, I, I just went with, uh, yeah, blocking the LOS down and protecting the ball. Oh, the ball went here and then I went back, picked it up. Had a strong screen in front of it so he couldn't get right into my face. Um, he was very, very placid, right? Just came around the side a little bit here. Left a gaping hole in the centre, inviting me to push through. I hope I pushed through the centre. Oh no, do you know what I did? He left the ghoul exposed, so I blitzed the ghoul. Yes, yeah, so it did take the centre quite solidly. Blitzed the ghoul, stunned it, made a KO at some point. Um, also, I fouled this ghoul. I four assist fouled this ghoul, which is a pretty good foul. Uh, of course, I double wand it and got sent off. But I th I think that was probably the right idea to foul that ghoul. Four assists, a 40k zombie. He's only got two players that can reliably handle the ball. I thought it was a pretty solid foul. Um, and I've taken this space, like, you know, perfectly. Um, he's got four players irrelevant here, two players irrelevant here. But he's going to sandwich me here. Um, puts these guys out in front, these guys in behind. But it's relatively simple clears, unless I get bad dice, which um, I didn't get bad dice. I didn't get good dice, but I didn't get bad dice. The problem is that I, I moved a mummy back here to hit as well, because I wanted to hit both of them with Mighty Blow, which means I haven't got so much in front. So it's going to make the push forward a little bit harder. Um, but like the, the payoff was trying to, you know, more chance of damage around the back. Um, and then now he really now he really clamps down, right? He's got the fleshy and the wraith in the front, the fleshy and the wraith in the back. This is another tricky turn. Uh, so I think I've just got to... I'll make an eye cage here, right? Yeah, so I, again, I go for hitting the ghoul with Mighty Blow. Um, get out of this situation. And then we're over here. The, I, the, I quite like this eye cage. I was really quite happy with this turn. This was pretty hard for him to come round and do much of anything um, and he gets fleshy near he gets a zombie on the ball he made two stuns so he, uh, he had a good turn for the stuns these stuns are massive right this is turn five for me here this is really going to impact me turn five they're down turn six they're not doing much right only moving one square so this is really hurting the drive it was, it was a good turn for him but I can maybe get the ball so if he didn't have a wolf I would have got the ball out to here. Um, I still I still think I can, right? It's a bit difficult. Oh, the problem is the fleshy, so we'll go around here. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. Yeah. And this is okay, right? Because his wolf's far away. Again, I didn't get knockdowns that I wanted. And I've gone pretty far over the side. Um, his turn, this is a big mistake from him. So, this is where he was. Really, there's lots of things he can do here, right? He could put a player in, blitz this guy, get the fleshy round the back. He can... He could, and then I'll just block this guy. He could blitz this guy and, you know, screen in front. But what he does is, rather than, like, screening in front or holding the centre, like, he's got, you know, he could have had a fleshy here to hold the centre... He just uh, he just screens way back here. He's not, you know, this this zombie should have been touching a mummy at least, right? He's and he's completely vacated the center. Got to control the center. Th this this fleshy could have been here, and like it's already like a million times better. But he just vacates the center, and on turn six, unbelievable mistake there. And uh, I'm like, thank you very much. Get a full X cage. It's not as far forward as I'd like to be, but you know, my mummies are in the front now. 
He's left with three players behind the ball. He did a one dice block at the end of the turn with his wraith as well, which was really horrendous. And so that 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 turn lost him his defense really. And uh, he swings back around, but I break through there, and I mean very strong break. So he, you know he did the same kind of elf screen again, but like wasn't really doing anything. So it was an easy break over to the other side, and then he failed the dice. Neither we're both out of rerolls by this point, but I just got to walk it in. So, uh, yep, there you go. That was the first half. But in the course of that, I uh, I made a couple of Kaz, both of his regened. He made a Kaz, and my guy... Oh, okay, so it's turn eight. He, he makes some hits on turn eight, and he gets a Kaz that doesn't regen. So now, I've got to defend with nine players versus his 11. But, I mean, that was pretty frustrating, I'll be honest. You know, I had outbashed him quite a bit. And, uh, you know, I'm starting the, second half, starting the second half down to nine players. So I guess the title of the video will be, you know, Defending with Nine Players. Because this was not easy, right? I had to battle really hard on defense here with only nine players. It, like, two players up is a huge advantage for the Necro here. And uh, so we're trying to defend the ghouls, trying to defend the mummies. Because if the mummies on the on the edges, they just get hit with claw. Obviously, if the mummies get hit with claw, that's very, 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 very bad. We do not want the mummies getting two dice pretty much ever, but definitely don't want them getting two dice by claw. So um, that is very scary indeed. So this is his setup. Um, he's got his fleshies there, and he's got his two ball carriers back. And it was a it was a very shallow kick. Interesting. He goes here. Yeah, I could have based the ball at this point, but again, I don't want the mummies getting hit really. And. Uh, it was an idea, though, honestly. It actually was an idea, right? I could have blitzed this guy and then moved the other mummy in. Maybe that's what I should have done. But again, I'm just trying to rescue this zombie. I see this zombie on the floor. I can blitz with my mummy, protect him, and get that guy back. So I've got what little resources I've got, which is nine players, eight standing. I'm trying to do something, right? Keep super control of the center. Can't, can't afford to give up the center any time. Then he makes a big push down the side. Of course, I don't have the players to control the sides as well. Um, I make a double GFI here with the mummy to get in and clamp down as much as I can. And I thought, I mean, that's I think that's a great turn, right? Really clamp down. Six players in. Mummy on the ball. He's got. He's like actually outnumbering him really at the point of attack. He's left with four players here to two. In fact, five players on two over here. So I thought it was a great turn by me. Um, force him into dodging with the ball, which of course you never want to do, but he didn't fail that. Um, so he just he just has to withdraw. So I get the tee off on him again, knock over everybody. Pretty great turn for me, everybody's knocked over. Get the ghoul up this side to stop him breaking to the left hand side. Um, get a stun as well, so he's just got to, I mean, he, I think he just has to come back to the, yeah, bit not as far down again. And uh, again, I've not really got the opportunity to do anything here, right? These guys have got sidestep. This guy's got stand firm. There's no interesting chains. Like if this guy didn't have stand firm, could blitz into him, chain this guy into here, into here, and then like, you know, block this guy into there, into there, into there and stuff. And then, you know, and like hit the ball. But there was no, there's no chains against Necro ever, right? So it's just, I'm just going to try and knock people over and try and blunt their offense as much as possible. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Keeping the ghoul back here to kind of stop the like diagonal play. The diagonal play is always dangerous on defense. If they're like on one side, you've got to... Uh, You've got to basically like stay parallel to them, so he's like this, I'm like this, but you've got to try and stop the the like diagonal. So uh, that's why the skills, and also he's free right in case something happens. And then this is the moment for me. This is the moment that could have won me the game. Um, I don't know why this guy stood up because he's he totally wasn't stood up. <laughs> it says prone, and he's stood. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Um, he, he was lying down anyway, trust me, bro. So what I want to do is I want to pow this guy so that this ghoul can come around. And then this ghoul can come around. Or this guy as well, actually. 
and then I can one dice block him, push him to there, and then this guy can surf the ball. Um, what actually happened was I rolled a both down on the block, so I couldn't surf the ball. And, um, you know, maybe I could have re-rolled that, but I don't want to skull. I don't want to just skull and lose, right? I don't want to skull, and then my goo gets surfed, and I just lose. So I was so scared of the skull that I didn't re-roll for the three plus. Maybe I should have done, but, um, you know, I still think I've got a lot in front of him here. And again, we've got this, this ghoul kind of like trying to stop the diagonal hit like through the mummies. And uh, that diagonal hit through the mummies is exactly what he does. He manages to one dice this mummy out of the way and he gets through here. Um, so again, the play is to hit the flesher here to free up a zombie, which didn't work. Otherwise, it's blocked these two guys off. I actually, it was quite nice what happened was I got them both onto a rookie zombie, which is very nice. And then use the ghoul and the white to hit the ball. The other ghoul picked up the ball. I could have made a dodge and a geofighter here, and then just maybe another geofighter there. Just get away from, get away from my end zone. I might make harder for him. Maybe I should have done that. Um, but again, I didn't want to just risk losing my last reroll or failing the one in nine on the dodge. So I, I just thought, let's just stay here. It's not that good for him. He's got to make a lot of rolls. Uh, he did make all of the rolls including a flesh golem dodge. So all I've really got on this last turn is a 4-3 dodge with the ghoul and then hit him with the white, three plus with the white. He actually put the zombie here and he should have put him there, right? Because I've got dodge on the ghoul. So he gave me a 4-3 where I had dodge on both on both dodges. Whereas if he'd gone here, I'd have had 4-3 um, or a 4-3 here without dodge so he actually he did actually misplace the zombie a little bit um but i made the hit i didn't make the pickup maybe you know maybe i should have made the pickup so he'd have had to power me um but it would, it would have been a gfi and a three plus and i didn't have a reroll left so oh no i did have a, I, I did have the reroll left but i just didn't want to risk it maybe i should have done and then what i did was this zombie dodged and then tried to double gfi to foul the ghoul um, and he actually did have three scoring threats, so, you know, maybe I shouldn't have done, right, because he can blitz this guy and then one, two, three, four, you know, no, so he can't, so this guy can't actually get at the fleshy. Hmm. So, there was a strong argument anyway for this zombie just going one, two, three, four and having two tackle zones on the ball. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have done that. But instead, I just left it with one tackle zone on. Uh, but, you know, with the maybe if I'd fouled him, right? If I'd fouled him, I think I've just got... I, I've won, right? If I if I break AV, I've won. Because he needs this zombie to get up and get the ball to the zombie or the fleshy. And uh, that's exactly what he did. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't see that on the turn-by-turn -turn thing. We can play this one, eh? So yeah, he managed to yeah, he just brings in the two the two wraiths to punch him, gets the pow. And then it was just a pick up hand off double GFI, like it was pretty easy. He had a reroll for it. This wasn't low odds at all. But um Oh and I punched the wolf last turn to, you know, make it harder for the wolf. Because I thought, you know, the wolf could like gone in the end zone, he could have passed it to him or something, so I thought these guys were so far away from facing the whites and stuff. We can check. We can check and see if uh, see if they were too far away to touch the whites. Hmm. So maybe what I should have done, rather than it was, re but this wolf right would just go into the end zone. So there's an argument that I could have put in the uh, mummy here, right, on both of these guys. I could have done that. Mummy on both of the wraiths would have been pretty strong, actually. Mm. But right before before I did everything else, I uh, I moved them both in and punched this wolf. But yeah, maybe I should have just put the the white in. And then done that 1D block at the end of the turn. 
and then this guy could have been stood on both of the wraiths so I could have maybe even played it a bit safer by doing that ah, that's a bit annoying isn't it seeing that now I mean he had other players and stuff right he, he could have uh, he could have assisted with this guy in fact he could have just blitzed with a fleshy so it wouldn't have made any difference actually he would have just blitzed with a fleshy so anyway I thought I did quite well with down to nine players for the whole half really battled you know got got the ball down a few times um, so you know it was a good it was a good example of not giving up and battling down players so there you go uh, thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic